Hey everyone and welcome to Dr. K Explains It All. I'm Dr. K and I'm back with new videos all about different health tips and topics. So if you're new here, why not check out my other videos and consider subscribing. But if you've been here before, welcome back and let's move on to today's topic. These spots are called Dermatosis Papulosa Nigra or DPN for short. They're very common in brown and black skin especially in women for some unknown reason. They are brown or black spots that are usually found on the face but can also be on other parts like your neck, your chest and your back. You can have a couple or have literally hundreds. First and foremost, I want to make it clear that these spots are not something serious like cancer but they can be incredibly tricky and annoying to get rid of. Sometimes they can also itch or rub on clothing or jewellery. We don't exactly know what causes these spots to come up, but we do know that they tend to get worse as you get older. And once they're there, they usually don't go away unless you get them removed. Although DPN are harmless, you just might not like the look of them and want to have them removed for this reason. Bear in mind that this is unlikely to be covered under your health insurance or if you're in the UK, it's not available on the NHS. So you will have to go out of pocket to have them removed privately. A lot of treatments are also not able to guarantee 100% removal. Instead, they focus on reduction or minimizing their appearance. There is also the risk of scarring or darkening of the skin after treatment. And you may be left with blotchy patches and blotchy skin, which in some cases may be even worse than the original spots. So if you only have a couple and they're not that noticeable, it may be best to leave them well alone. So if having heard all my warnings and you still want to have them removed, I would suggest that you speak to or you see a dermatologist that's expert in treating black skin. There are lots of treatments out there and each one is promising better results than the last. However, I would suggest that you be careful and do your own research. And that's so you can avoid wasting your money and ruining your skin because not all these treatments are bound to work. The first method is called electrodesiccation. And in this method, a needle shaped electrode with electric current is applied to burn off the spots. This treatment can be painful. So you may need to apply numbing cream before you have the treatment. And you can also get some redness and scabbing of the skin afterwards. However, this treatment tends to produce really good results and most people tend to notice smoother clearer skin as soon as a week after treatment the next method is cryotherapy and in this method liquid nitrogen is applied to freeze off the growth to be more careful with this option because it can produce pigmentation problems afterwards this is because not only does the liquid nitrogen freeze off the growth but it also damages the melanin pigment in the skin around the area so you may be left with lighter patches of skin two other options that are commonly used involve lasers to burn off the growths or a process called surgical excision in which the growths are cut out and removed do also have to be careful with infection, scarring and pigmentation problems after the treatments. The other thing that you have to realize is that these spots are not permanent. The spots can always and usually do come back. So you may need to go back at regular intervals to have top-up treatment. Even though we know that DPN has no permanent cure, there are a couple of things that you can do to slow down the rate at which they grow or minimize their appearance. The first thing which is really important with any skincare issue is sun protection. We know that the sun's UV rays are responsible for a lot of abnormal moles, freckles, age spots. So wearing daily effective high factor sun cream is a must. I would also recommend as part of your skincare regime to use products that contain salicylic or glycolic acids, two of which are chemical exfoliants to exfoliate and remove the topmost layer of dead skin. Not only that, retinol is another really good ingredient which helps to increase the cell turnover. All these ingredients help to minimize the appearance and can also help to slow down the rate at which they grow. Okay, so that's all I've got for this week and I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions for me, then drop them below and I'll do my best to answer. In the meantime, I hope you guys are keeping safe and well, and I'll see you next time. Take care.